Fox News host Dan Bongino was incredibly insulted that Bernie Sanders had the audacity to insult King Donald Trump. Bernie Sanders tweeted this about the president. Donald Trump believes climate change is a hoax. Donald Trump is an idiot. Now, I rate this statement true, but if you're Dan Bongino, you were incredibly offended by this. And um, if you know anything about Dan Bongino, you would know that he is incredibly fragile. So it takes just <laughs> the littlest thing to get him in a place of complete outrage. Now, <laughs> he's very sensitive about one thing in particular that the Kid Marrow pointed out, where <laughs> the, ki the Kid Marrow... <laughs> got in a Twitter fight with Dan Bongino and correctly <laughs> pointed out that <laughs> his head is shaped like the Brave Little Toaster or a Nintendo GameCube. <laughs> when you look at him, how can you dispute this? This is almost a perfect rectangle here. <laughs> And every time I think of that tweet, I laugh so hard. And the first time I saw that, like my stomach hurt. I was laughing so hard. Now, Dan Bongino is incredibly, incredibly sensitive about the shape of his head. Because um, not only did he, I believe, block the Kid Mero after that, but he blocks people who share that tweet around. So for example, I share it because it's hilarious and indisputable. And he literally blocked me because I shared that tweet. <laughs> because I shared that tweet from the Kid Mero. <laughs> <laughs> so the man is incredibly fragile and you're gonna see his fragility on full display on Fox News when he reacts to Bernie Sanders tweet. Um, and when you watch this, try not to stare at his square-shaped head. I can't unsee the Nintendo GameCube in particular, but I also see Brave Little Toaster. This is too much. Sanders' uh, tweet of recent note, he says simply, and we're talking about the climate change issue, which is popular amongst these candidates, saying Donald Trump believes climate change is a hoax. Donald Trump is an idiot. Just straight? <laughs> what do you make of that? It's like, the, is this the comedy block at 7.30 in the morning? But Donald Trump's an idiot? This is Bernie Sanders. I want to spend $30 trillion in 10 years. You like my Bernie? Or Bernie's, Donald's an idiot? This guy wants to spend $30 trillion over the next 10 let, years. Let, We're $20 let trillion not, in debt. Let us not deprive you of that, Dan. Real quickly, here is what you're talking about. Senator Give me a number, Medicare for all, an approximate number. How much would it cost? Uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 trillion over a 10 year period. <laughs> Just nonchalantly <laughs> dropping that out there. We're talking about a guy who can't do first grade level math. And he's Donald Trump's an idiot. Let's, I mean, shall we go on? Bernie Sanders, this guy's never had a real job outside of politics his entire life. I believe there's a story I think he was kicked out of a commune when he was like engaged in some kind of communist work program or something. And Donald Trump's an idiot. He wants, again, you understand he can't do basic math. Griff, he believes in the money fairy. He goes, money? Yeah, we could find money anywhere. Uh, money, money here, money there. It's never his money. The, Griff, the guy owns, what is it, two or three houses? Is it two or three now? I'm not sure. He owns two or three houses and he claims to be a socialist. And Donald Trump's an idiot? Let me tell you something, all you Sanders supporters out there. There is, I, I, so I don't know the guy, I've never met him, but I'm telling you right now, based on his public statements, I have never in my life seen a bigger phony fake fraud in politics than this joker. <laughs> Every, he's never had a job, he doesn't work, he's a, he's a million, I'm a millionaire. This guy, you notice he stopped railing against millionaires and billionaires, he only rails against billionaires now, you know why? Because he's a millionaire. He's right. the biggest Good phony out there. Total fraud. And Martha McCallum in his town hall nailed him to the wall on that. You don't like the Trump tax cuts? Well, you you, you pay that rate, don't you? You don't pay extra. Yeah. Well, of course I'm going to pay that rate. Phony, fraud, fake.
total fraud. Yeah. Dan, you mentioned budget. He says 30 to 40 trillion dollars over 10 years. The current federal budget is roughly 4.7 trillion. So that means he's going to double the size of the federal budget each year to pay for Medicare for all. It's it's lunacy. Yet he's he, taken seriously. He thinks there's a money fairy out there. He, he thinks like, they, like the tooth fairy that they come in the middle of the night and they just drop money on people's pillow to pay their taxes. This guy is a total phony. He is the biggest fake I have ever seen in politics. And I can't believe that people are getting suckered by this guy every day. He flies for, remember that story about his private travel during the, I thought he was a climate change guy. Yeah, climate change, you're spewing CO2 yeah. all yep. over the country so you can fly around in a private jet. He's a big phony. Because all they right. hear free college. They hear free college, free health insurance, free, yeah, free, 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 and they're going to go to the And we always wonder whether you're going to tell us how you really feel. <laughs> so, thank Especially you, on Monday at 730. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite day. I Dan, love this one. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, if thanks, we run Dan. into the money fairy, we'll it, send her guys. your way. So notice how he didn't address the issue of climate change even a single time. And I actually found that like legitimately cringeworthy because it was evident that he was scrambling like he just wanted to throw whatever he had at bernie in hopes that it would stick so he was scrambling to think of all of these right-wing talking points you know he's a socialist he has three houses uh he is a millionaire i mean is that really how you respond that's all you have i mean really at this point, we've heard all of these same talking points and it's not working. The only one that he forgot, which I was surprised he didn't mention, was Venezuela. But look, here's what he says. So in response to Bernie Sanders calling Trump an idiot, these are the things that he came up with to rebut what Bernie Sanders said. Donald's an idiot. This guy wants to spend $30 trillion over the next 10 years. And he says this about Medicare for all. Now, unfortunately for Dan Bongino, even right-wing Koch-funded studies show that overall health spending goes down. Why? Because our healthcare system is incredibly inefficient. The Koch-funded Mercatus Center study found that the American people will save $2 trillion if we move to Medicare for All. So he thinks that he is brilliant in saying, oh, well, Bernie Sanders' health care plan is going to cost 30 to $40 trillion. But he doesn't know anything about this subject, or at least that's the impression that I got. I'm assuming he doesn't know anything. Because, of course, if you're moving to a federal single-payer type system, federal spending increases. That's the whole point. But that's offset by state and local spending going down simultaneously. And at the individual level, you know, we will be saving money. Most Americans will be saving money because even if we're going to be paying more in taxes, we're not going to pay our monthly health insurance premiums and copays and deductibles. Now, what's funny is that they had that clip already queued up of Bernie Sanders saying how much Medicare for all would cost. It's almost like Dan Bongino was instructed to use that line of attack. But I mean, what a weak line of attack. Medicare for all is incredibly popular. And some polls show that a majority of Republicans support it. So you have to come up with something better than that. But he didn't because we saw what else he said. He says Bernie Sanders never had a real job outside of politics his entire life because he's been in politics his entire life. He's a U.S. senator. So you're honestly going to say that personally he's never accomplished anything what did donald trump do you're an ardent donald trump supporter donald trump was born into wealth and he had to have his daddy pump thousands upon thousands of dollars into his businesses including into casinos he was that big of a failure so coming from a donald trump supporter it doesn't really seem like you care about personal accomplishments of politicians he also says the guy owns two or three houses okay he says he's a millionaire Okay, but he wants to raise his own taxes. That's kind of, that's, that's key. Uh, he also repeated multiple times, he's a fraud, he's a phony, he's a fake. Now, he repeated this multiple times, and that in and of itself is not a substantive argument, obviously. But again, for a Donald Trump supporter to make this claim about another politician is incredibly hypocritical. Because the individual who you support is not just a buffoon, but he is a fraud. What is Trump University? He lies every two seconds. So how can you with a straight face say that these things about Bernie Sanders are bad, but still support Donald Trump? If these things were true about Bernie Sanders, they're not, then shouldn't you want to support Bernie Sanders because you seem drawn to frauds and phonies and fakes? 
I mean, the man is a joke, and I understand that it's very difficult for him to think critically because, I mean, what brain can function in a head shaped like that? Like, his skull is a cube. That's not normal. So I understand that it may be difficult for him to use all of the cognitive functions that the average human brain may offer when you are the brave little toaster, but that doesn't mean we're going to give you a pass when you go on Fox News and start spouting off bullshit. So, um, I don't know what else to say. Let's put up the Kid Mero tweet one more time. Um, this really was a blessing and a joy to read. And anytime there is a pundit who is going to say something very stupid, I think that we should all let the Kid Mero know because he absolutely knows exactly what to do to get under their skin and uh, never bring up the fact that Dan Bongino's head is shaped like the Brave Little Toaster or a Nintendo GameCube, because he's not going to be too happy. Might even block you for bringing that up. <laughs> Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.